Yeah, yeah, I just want to see and I got another dope video for y'all, man. This video right here is from Audit to Audit. Uh, cops get fired, arrested, and sued after this stop. Now, I have seen my previous videos. I love reacting to this type of video just because I like to get my point across, my own take on it. And also, to do my part, they, they get this stuff out there. Even though you have bigger channels than mine, like Audit to Audit, Lackluster, and other channels. But... I had to get my own. I had to get my own personal reaction and my own personal opinion to this type of stuff, right? Because, dude, it has to stop at some point, right? <laughs> at some point, cops have to know the law, because <laughs> I feel like some people know the law more than they do, or they just try to flex their 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 muscle and just try to get arrested, anyways. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. There's some shady stuff out there, bro. Like cops. They're not robots. They're not programmed to do the right thing all the time. You know what I'm saying? They're not robots like, like because even at fast food joints, fast food restaurants. Hey, we all human. We tend to mess up your orders too, baby. Or I might just drop a, a, a chicken fillet on the ground and pick it up just because that's the only chicken fillet that's in the in the basket, and this customer needs it right now. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna pick that chicken sandwich up. We gonna pick we gonna pick that chicken flip off the ground and put it on that sandwich and make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's harsh but true. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's still a job. You know what I'm saying? Whether they do it right or wrong, and the only problem with cops is that they back each other. No matter how much this dude right over here is messing up, they always gonna back each other, and they always gonna have. The court behind them, you know what I'm saying? There's always ways out of stuff, right? Because some people don't have money to, to pay for a lawyer to fight whatever this cop got going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to say, you pull me over. <laughs> also, bogus stuff, man. Hey, I got the money for a lawyer. <laughs> but what I further do, let's go ahead and. Get, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get to this reaction because it's a 20 minute video. This episode covers hindering, excessive force, and vehicle searches and is brought to us by ABC News 4's channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. On August 20th, 2020, Corporal Robert Barano of the Somerville Police Department initiated a traffic stop on 42-year-old grandfather Timmy Miles after he drove away from Damn, his Somerville, South Carolina grandfather? residence. I'm not Prior grandfather to the yet. stop, Charleston police officers I'm had intercepted a FedEx package containing marijuana that was sent to Mr. Miles' home, but addressed to an individual who did not live there, and according to Mr. Miles, was not known to him or his family. As part of a narcotic surveillance operation, officers from the Somerville PD delivered the package to Mr. Miles' front porch, and at least two officers watched the package from a wooded area behind Mr. Even Miles' Even about it, though, I guarantee point, you. the officers lost sight of the package, and when Mr. Miles drove Even away, didn't live anymore, he knew something about him it. over on the mistaken belief that he had picked up the package and put it in his vehicle. Corporal Barano approached the vehicle, and the encounter that followed was captured on body camera. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, come on. Get out of the car. What, what, no, I ain't getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. We're about to tell you what's going on. Come on. No, on. bro. Yeah. What, what, what's going on? I, let me record car. this. Okay. Y'all got y'all. What, what, what y'all got y'all? Yeah, camera we're recording on? right now. So come on out. What's going on? We got the camera on. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Oh, no, no, no. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't get out, you're about to get ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a back problem. Don't rip me out of the car. I'm not trying to do that. So come on out. Come on out. We'll explain it to you. We're going to tell you, dude. Come on. Step out of the car. If, if, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me this go. This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're... Get the fuck out. Me, me personally in that situation, I'd have got out. You know what I'm saying? I'd have got out. Pers me personally. <laughs> Why you punch me in my face? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we'll pull, pull them up. Up in the if you got your camera, punch me in my face. Got your camera, bro. Somebody punch me in my face. When Mr. Miles refuses to exit the vehicle without an explanation as to why he was stopped, Corporal Barano grabs him around the neck, pulls him from his vehicle, and strikes him several now, times in the thick. In his defense, bro, cops do this all the time. Like, why not just say, hey, 
when we pull it over because they're packaging package it, deliver it to your house, and I feel like you picked it up. It has marijuana in it. Why can't it say that? Right? Uh, even though the dude probably was like, oh, no, I ain't putting nothing up, blah, 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 blah. So why not give him the information? You know what I'm saying? Why are you pulling me up? Why are you ripping me out my car? Right? Because sometimes people don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, I get a package in my house. I'm a law by a citizen. I don't know nothing about marijuana, bro. But you might be staking my house out for months until this package comes and you pull me over for a package that I don't know nothing about. Hypothetically. But you know what I mean. We will explore Let's pull my car. Barano's use of force later in this episode. First, <laughs> Tell me it's why. necessary to discuss the legality of Mr. Miles' conduct in refusing to exit the vehicle. As we have mentioned previously here on ATA, courts I don't know why it's so hard. It's like, hey, we pull that. We pull that. You cover this. Constitutionally required to inform so citizens about the reasons they have been detained. And although Section 17-13-50 of the South Carolina Code makes it illegal under state law for an officer to quote refuse to answer a question relative to the reason. For for the arrest posed by a person who has been arrested, See, that's a problem. the statute does not apply to Terry stops. Additionally, officers typically have the discretion to require individuals to exit vehicles during traffic stops, and for this reason, an order to step out of a vehicle is typically considered lawful. While South Carolina like said, personally, statute, which I'll get out of the car. Section 16-5-50 of the South Especially Carolina Code, I'm getting out of the car. Arrests, under Section 16-1 of the Somerville hey, put Code, hand cuff, me I've been in before, so quote, mm -hmm. for any person to refuse to obey a I find it a court. order of any officer Me personally. Of the police department for the town engaged in the discharge of official duties. However, if he was charged with violating this ordinance, Mr. Miles could attempt to defend himself by arguing that the order to exit the vehicle was not lawful because the underlying traffic stop was not based on reasonable suspicion. Although it is difficult to determine whether Corporal Barano had the reasonable suspicion necessary to detain Mr. Miles without knowing the specific details of what the surveillance officers saw and what they communicated to Corporal Barano, given the fact that the pack was still on Mr. Miles' front porch, he would have a legitimate argument that the traffic stop was not supported by reasonable suspicion, and that he accordingly could not be convicted of disobeying a lawful order for refusing to exit the vehicle. Yeah, we have to make sure that if we're not, we don't have anything. They lost sight of the box, yeah. and this car left. We stopped it. He didn't want to get out. We had to extract him. It's not there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got uh, them lookers. It's on the porch still. After Mr. Miles was physically removed from the vehicle, the officers realized that the package was not inside it, and later determined that the package was still on the porch. Despite this, they continue to detain Mr. Miles and keep him in handcuffs. Somebody go to jail for real behind it. Huh? Anybody get it? You want to search it? What? This car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. C continue to research. I mean, we'll get a dog. Get a dog because right now he's going to say no. It's, I mean, we'll, he didn't pick up the package. So let's get a dog to make sure there's probable cause that we search the car. Oh, they messed up. The trunk for safety. Come on, man. I want everybody car. Everybody car. Hey, you brave. You brave cat. With all you know, you real brave to be punching on choking people, man. You wrong. You had no thing to choking and pulling on me like that. I would have complied only if you'd have let me know what the f was going on. I come out my yard, everybody swarming me and punching me and throwing me on the ground. That's ruthless. That's thuggish. And y'all called us mother. Mr. Miles confronts Corporal Barano about his use of force in choking and pushing <laughs> him and states that he would have complied with the order to exit the vehicle if the officers would have just told him what was going on. In the 2016 case of Armstrong versus Village of Pinehurst, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which has jurisdiction over South Carolina, determined that, quote, non-compliance with lawful orders justifies some use of force, but the level of justified force varies based on the risks posed by the resistance. Applying this precedent, 
The U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, which is also in the Fourth Circuit, held in the 2022 case of Nazario versus Gutierrez that, quote, when police lawfully order a driver to exit his vehicle and the driver refuses, police may use reasonable force to remove the driver. In reaching this decision, the court recognized that, quote, a key determination in the reasonableness inquiry is whether the resistance is active or passive, and noted that, quote, verbally refusing to exit a vehicle constituted purely passive resistance. Interestingly, we explored the interaction involved in the Nazario case in a previous episode of ATA, and I've included a link to this episode in the description down below if you're interested in learning more. In the present situation, even one. if a court concluded that Corporal Baronel had that the was, legal uh, authority to forcibly remove Mr. Miles from the vehicle, no, given the entirely dude. passive nature of his resistance, Mr. Miles has a legitimate claim that the type of force employed was excessive and constitutionally unreasonable. In the 2008 case of Cleary versus Green, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like you have these laws out here for us, right? And you have these laws to protect us as civilians, bro. There are laws out there to protect us in certain situations, bro. You just can't be beating up on people just because. Come on, man. The U.S. District we have we have laws for a reason. Also, in the Fourth Circuit, held that an officer uh, I'm not did not to use too much, bro. excessive force in physically removing an individual from a vehicle when she like, was spun on, around man. and slammed against the vehicle several times. However, the court justified this decision by arguing you can that feel the vibe. You can feel like use of force once the individual you can feel was the vibe like, and that he did not this dude punch need or to be slap her, implying slung that out the car and punch now. would be excessive. Just feel the vibe, Additionally, bro. in the 2020 even, case, even if somebody is bringing a law. U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia denied qualified bro, immunity to an officer on what the situation a single, closed-handed strike to the face of an individual who failed to comply with four orders to exit. It's because I failed to comply. Depending on the situation, case, by the I, if I'm a name, murderer or a bank robber or a molester decision, or some court shit like that, no more than 15 seconds. Yeah, pull me in the car, punch me in the face, command I'm, I'm resistant. And the but bro, that the officer blocked the driver from exiting by situating himself the open door of the vehicle and the Driver. Marijuana, and I get a, the I got a package of marijuana orders, and I get punched in the face for it. That's crazy. <laughs> now, while Corporal Barano waited about 35 seconds before employing force and did not appear to block Mr. Miles' exit from the vehicle, he used more force than Officer Painter did, as he grabbed Mr. Miles by the throat and punched him twice instead of once. And given the fact that Mr. Miles did not resist physically or even make any threatening or evasive movements, he would have a strong argument that Corporal Barano used constitutionally excessive force against him. Please, then I'm paying my attack if you would. But you, you told me you wanted well, to speak. Can I get some medical attention to ask the yes. West Ambulance? Yes, can I, I want to get my child foot. crazy Thank attention because I got punched real freaking hard in my face. You know that's wrong. Well, come on, man. Come no, on. No, you, no, no. You refuse to get out of the car. Refuse to get out of the car. I, I went like, oh, oh, this man grabbed me first. I said, like, why are you grabbing me? I got a right for my rights now. Come on now. You behind me. I did the right thing. I stopped. And then you ordered me to get out the car for what? Yeah, this man choking me and punching me. Nine zero seven. Don't die. Don't choke me. Well, the good news is that you're alive and you're kicking me. Yeah, come on. You had no business choking me, bro. For choking me, you going down. You ain't had to put your hand on my neck. They ain't that serious for whatever you looking for, bro. This house is for you. Where for you? Where is it? Where is it? That dog. Where is it? I do not want a search on my car. I do not allow a search oh, on my car. No, 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 no. I do not, I do not con conduct like a that? search on my car. Yeah, what you looking for? Yeah, they called him. That's what they did with the trunk open, but you know. We thought there was a package in there. Who, the driver or you guys? We did. It was okay. supposed to be a control delivery. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, if, uh, if we can get that trunk closed for him. Somerville? Is that what I said? Did they notify you about sending an email this, uh, to the traffic stop? That tire fight in Durango, too. Can we get one for Black Mill, approximately 30, 35, uh, complaining of head trauma? <laughs> Nobody notified them, so they're coming in. Bro, why do you have to say Black Mill? What difference does it make? Send the EMS out. 
<laughs> no matter what color he is or what kind of condition he is, send him an uh, email, e EMS out, bro. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Oh, black male, 30 to 35. What the fuck? His age and skin color got to do with anything. They're coming. I confirmed it. They're bro, coming what the hell? Yeah, they know they messed up too. You just listen to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did. Hey, you know what? Just do the um, instant to arrest. We'll um, hand it over rather than tow it. Yeah, this is stuff back behind here with this stuff that you got a photo cut and it smells like weed in there. So. Yeah, he has a couple baggies in the front as well. Yeah, yeah I'll get photos of them. Yeah. Charge him and release the car to mom. Even though Mr. Miles explicitly and adamantly denied consent to search his vehicle, and the K9 unit sniffed the vehicle and did not alert, after Mr. Miles admits to using marijuana for his back problems, the officers thoroughly search his vehicle, including the contents of notebooks, folders, and other containers, and do not find any illegal substances. As we have discussed in previous episodes of ATA, the Supreme Court held in the 1983 case that's, of United States versus Place trash, that a canine bro. sniff does not constitute a quote unquote search for Fourth Amendment purposes. And in the 2005 case of Illinois versus Caballes, the court determined that quote, a dog sniff conducted during a lawful traffic traffic stop that reveals no information other than the location of a substance that no individual has any right to possess does not violate the Fourth Amendment. However, the Supreme Court clarified in the 20... My personal take also, last time I paused in, dogs should be out of the equation at this point, bro. Like, literally, bro. Like, certain dogs are probably well-trained, well-trained, the uh, fine drugs, right? Well trained, but then you got some, like, can you really rely on a dog to <laughs> fifteen cases? Certain dogs, you know what I'm United States that all dogs are built different. Not extend I'm sure there's like beyond the time needed to handle maybe the matter for two out of a hundred to conduct a dog sniff that are great independent drug sniffers, bro. But like, come on, man. Criminal activity. This situation is more complex than the typical traffic stop, as there are serious questions about the legality of the underlying stop and Mr. Miles' apparent arrest. And the issue was further complicated by the fact that the officers failed to request emergency medical services until after the sniff was completed, although they seemed to be waiting for EMS to arrive before taking... That dog, look at that dog. You think that, the canine unit that dog was trying so to go Mr. everywhere Miles else but that car. Look <laughs> at that seizure Get out of here. ...unlawfully extended to allow for the canine to sniff his vehicle. No, I'll try to go pee right now. the legal issues surrounding the dog sniff are murky, it is far more likely that the court would determine that the officer's extensive search of Mr. Miles' vehicle violated the Fourth Amendment. Although officers are generally required to obtain a warrant before searching a vehicle, courts have recognized several exceptions to this rule under which warrantless vehicle searches are considered... That later right a lot, she liked the, the, the brothers. For instance, <laughs> as the Supreme Court explained in the 1996 case of Pennsylvania versus LeBron, quote, if a car is readily mobile and probable cause exists to believe it contains contraband, the Fourth Amendment permits police Police to search the vehicle. Although the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals held in the 2002 case of U.S. versus Sheets that the odor of marijuana gives officers probable cause to search a vehicle, there is no precedent suggesting that a driver's admission to general marijuana use allows officers to search their vehicle. And in this situation, it is likely that a court would conclude that the officers did not have probable cause to search Mr. Miles' vehicle based on his admission to using marijuana, absent any evidence tying that use to the vehicle, particularly given the fact that a canine unit had sniffed the vehicle and failed to detect any illegal substances. Other exceptions hey, you need a on that thing too, though. inventory you searches see that when vehicles being impounded and searches incident to arrest, which, as the Supreme Court explained in the 2011 case of Davis versus the United States, is limited to situations where, now quoting, the arrestee is within reaching distance of the vehicle during the search, or if the police have reason to believe that the vehicle contains <laughs> I love evidence relevant to the crime of arrest, it, a court would almost certainly conclude that these exceptions did not apply because the vehicle was not being impounded. Mr. Miles was not. But it's a good, it's a good thing too because he actually did not brings out a lot. Have probable cause that any evidence was in the vehicle, having already certain court situations too. Still on the porch. That medicine bottle right there also belongs to him. 
and just uh, and just and just that it's and just instead of uh, saying uh, and after this is not allowed, he actually show you everything. Lawsuit Mr. Miles filed the sections, the court, uh, court situations, he shows you all that, bro. Under South Carolina state law and disobeying a lawful order of police in violation of section 16-1. A lot of us don't do all this. This video is like eight minutes long. <laughs> However, publicly available court records only list the drug charge, which was dismissed on January 19th, 2021. Less than two weeks after the encounter, Corporal Bano Somerville was at? terminated from the Somerville Police Department due to his actions during the stop. According to a so-called separation due to misconduct form completed by department representatives, quote, Corporal Barano could be seen on video striking the defendant in the face twice. And, now quoting again, another detective can be seen grabbing Corporal Barano's arm in what appears to be Suck an on. attempt to prevent him from delivering more fist strikes to the man's face. The form concluded <coughs> that, quote, there was no apparent imminent threat Excuse or me. danger to Corporal Barano or to the other officers on scene. And, that, now quoting again, Corporal Barano utilizing a closed fist and striking the subject in the face was not justifiable, was not objectively reasonable, and was a violation of department policy and state law. On Friday, October 29th, 2021, former Officer Barano was arrested and charged with third-degree assault and battery against Mr. Miles. And on September 1st, 2022, Judge Ryan Templeton found him guilty after I tell you, my last time possible, but good, bro. Because like, it literally was like they, uh, he said 35 seconds into the whole situation. He got pulled over 35 seconds. He immediately goes punch up somebody in the face. That's tough. After a bench trial, sentencing him. 35 to seconds is tough. On August 19th, you mean to start punching somebody 35 seconds after you pull them over? Stemming from his encounter with Corporal Barano in both state and federal court. On June 8th, 2023, Mr. Miles voluntarily dismissed the state case, likely to continue to pursue his federal case. And as of the date of writing this episode, the federal case is still pending, although the proceedings were temporarily <coughs> stayed on August 10th, 2023, due to unspecified, now quoting, emerging familial medical complications for Mr. Miles' attorney. Overall, Corporal Barano and the other Somerville officers involved in this encounter get an F for using clearly excessive force against a non-violent citizen, moving forward with Mr. Miles' arrest after discovering that they were mistaken about the location of the package of marijuana, and illegally searching his vehicle in an apparent attempt to find any reason to legitimize his treatment. <laughs> Although Corporal Barano's violent behavior was likely both unconstitutional and <coughs> criminal, the other officers ignored and thereby implicitly condoned his conduct or attempted to justify it, with one officer even telling Mr. Miles quote, the good news is that you're alive. In addition to the egregious use of force against Mr. Miles, the officers continued to detain him in handcuffs after learning that they were mistaken about the basis of the stop. And, despite Mr. Miles' clear denial of consent and the lack of a lawful exception to the warrant requirement, they searched every part of his vehicle for anything that could potentially justify arresting him. When they found <laughs> nothing illegal, the officers resorted to taking photos of empty plastic bags and a bottle of prescription medication as so-called evidence. On the whole, <laughs> this encounter shows an alarming lack of integrity on the part of all of the officers. And <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Cops can be dicks, bro. Cops are dicks. The good news, you're still... Bro. Uh, my problem with cops... And it's still bad from when I, when I was even growing up, bro. My problem with cops, bro. Is that they try to arrest people, bro? They find any every reason to try to arrest somebody, bro. They have a situation too, uh, like yeah, I was on probation, and yeah, I had some beer in my truck, but like I'm not fucking intoxicated, right? But just because I was on probation, I shouldn't have alcohol in my vehicle. I got arrested, like that situation, bro. Come on, man, just let me be, right? But they 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 have to. Like certain situations, even though I'm um, breaking the law, right? Certain situations you don't have to arrest nobody, bro. But the fact that they, you have some cops that go above and beyond to arrest you, bro. That like, even if they <clears throat> a simple traffic stop, you can wind up in jail just because, bro. This dude want to know what's going on. They didn't tell him what was going on. <laughs> pulled him out of his car and beat the shit out of him. 
You know what I'm saying? It's crazy behavior, bro. And I don't care what city or what county you in, dog. This this can't be cool. Yeah, if you want to bat the blue, I get it because they do have a tough job. I, I do really, 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 really get that, bro, because they do have a tough job. And some cops are fucking amazing. But some cops are out to get you, bro, just because. And some cops are lying just to get an arrest. They're bored. It's their job, right? <clears throat> it's, at the end of the day, it's a job, right? So they, this cop could just be... Sh- Strolling around town the whole time, or if you're a sheriff, you can be strolling around the county the whole time, boring, nothing's going on, and boom, you get a traffic stop, and you try to make stuff up just because you're bored, you need some action, you know what I'm saying? And it's tough, bro, for us citizens, bro, because, like, one of the reasons why we fear the cops, a lot of people don't, like, I really don't because I don't really do that wrong, but at the end of the day, I can be subjected to this this type of uh, this police abuse. Truly, we all can be, whether you back the blue or not. <laughs> Me personally, I'm the type of dude like even if like, they don't have a lawful reason to, to pull me or ask me for my ID or ask me to get out of the vehicle, it, I know if it's like if it's it's not lawful for me to get out of the car. I still do it just because. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep the peace, bro. Because, honestly, these, these guys, they do have a, a lot of say-so against regular citizens. And that shouldn't be the case, man. At the end of the day, they're, per, uh, they're public servants. And they shouldn't have that kind of power over us like that. Honestly. Like, you straight up just absolutely breaking the law bro I get it but just to be minding your business going about your day and just to get harassed that's tough bro that's tough it should have that type of power just to absolutely harass somebody there's been many situations where people just go about their day get pulled over get thrown out of their car and it's all searched and all the I got bro I got searched one time even though I didn't do nothing I didn't break no law of strolling, bro. I got absolutely searched. <laughs> and I said, me personally, even though they didn't have the right to search my car, I said, go ahead and search it. Because I, I don't do shit. I told them to go ahead and search it. I said, stuff like that is crazy. I, just thinking about it is kind of messed up. But this is what Tina asked me. I'm sorry for making the video even longer. <laughs> But this is your boy T Nasty, man. Holla at your boy, and I'm out.